Well, hello, it's been a while. I've been really busy and uh, haven't had time to do much uh, social stuff like uh, what I'm doing on the property or anything. Uh, this is a sweet gum stump that I just finished burning out. It was seven feet across on the ground right there, right at that, right at that base right there, right at that level, all the way over to there. And it was just, I got a uh, special burn barrel. I can't use a regular 55 gallon drum because they, it would have burned up probably within the time that I just got this fire started on this thing. I burned this thing solid for two and a half weeks. And I'll show you here in just a second what I've used. And I see I've still got some remnants of the root system right there and right there and right there. And there's another piece right there and right there. So I've got about six or eight pieces of the uh, root system that I don't even really have to worry about burning out. I'm just going to take my uh, mattocks and just uh, chop at it and get the... A lot of it's, it, it's pretty dry, but sweet gum is a really spongy wood. It's not... Uh, it's not, it, it, if you know what punk wood is, that's what the composition of a sweet gum tree is. And uh, it absorbs every bit of moisture. That's why it took so long to burn this out. It absorbs, the humidity gets absorbed into this stuff. And you can literally push on it with your finger and it'll depress. And then it'll spring right back out. It's, it's like a sponge unreal stuff but you can see the you can see this the the remnants that's the stump that's all stump right there that's not just root system but that's all stump all the way around this whole entire thing this thing was seven feet across and uh an estimate that i got on it because we didn't bother trying to count the rings or anything like that but an estimate i got on it this tree was probably 100 to 150 years old okay so we got that one burned out and now we're going on to another one which was an oak stump that I stupidly if that's even a word tried to burn it while it was green which was a big mistake because it just left a big mountain in the middle of the yard but I put my barrel over it the same barrel that I used on the on that seven footer back there and you can see I got it burned out too and it took me about a week of burning on this one and uh, then I've got another sweet gum that's right here I quit burning this one a week ago and it's cold or still hot And uh, so it's doing up pretty good. That's part of the root system right there. I started picking it out with my Maddox yesterday and just throwing it back onto the pile, let it burn. All right, well, we got a new one we're gonna burn here today. This is a pine stump. I know you can't see none of the stump hardly, but that's that's part of the root system, or part of the stump actually right there. And uh, it comes all the way out to here. So this one here is probably, oh, it took three people to stand around it and put their hands together. Three adults. Now, I burned it out partly just, uh, just on the bare ground uh, last year. Well, now I've got my burn barrel up. This is a uh, 40 inch in diameter, five foot tall, half inch thick pipe. I had it cut for me 
and uh, delivered to the house cost me 500 bucks and I had to make this lid for it also it's just a piece of plate steel with a piece of flat bar welded around the edges and then I've got a eye bolt put in the center of it and I have my neighbor help me make a uh, little jib crane which is this piece right here I got a you can see I've got a uh, a winch just a hand winch attached to it and the other half of it is up there you can see the pipe right there but the, the other half is right up there at the top it's got a little uh, pulley on it to guide the uh, cable and then this lid right here weighs about 150 175 pounds and so I had my neighbor weld that uh, jib crane up for me and it just bolts right here to this and it sits right on the edge of this right here and I'm able to hook that uh, cable to this eye bolt and lift it up and put it on top of the burn the burn can I just poured a little diesel in the very bottom of it I can't get too close to the thing I got fire ants all around this thing I, can, I don't know if you can see the, the little bit of bait that I put out for them right there this this whole entire area all the way around this barrel is just nothing but fire ants I have the worst fire ant problem over here I killed 40 mounds out on this side of my property over here this whole side of the property I had 40 fire ant mounds and I did away with them with some uh, ortho fire ant killer and that was two weeks ago and I haven't found another fire ant nest over there yet so I guess I did pretty good on that and I'm trying this uh, this is andro ant bait that I'm uh, put out for these over here to see what kind of results I get from it there's it's a food they carry it down into the nest supposedly eat it and then up chuck it for the Queens okay so in the bottom of this I've got a bunch of uh, dried elm branches and about uh, that's about the first the bottom one-third of it the stump in the very bottom is about 18 inches from the surface of the ground and then uh, oh, let's see here I piled a bunch of this all that stuff you see on the back of the truck right there I piled a bunch of this uh, this real small branches all that real small stuff like that right there no more than an inch and a half two inches in diameter you know put all that in the bottom made a about a six or eight inch bed of that and then I put some bigger pieces like this right here which is about five to six inches put a layer of that in it and then the sec the the uh, the last two-thirds of it I filled with uh, red oak I'm out here busting this red oak into four pieces and uh, quartering it and then just filled it up and now I'm fixing the light of the fire if you can see that or not nope well I guess I won't be able to do that then well, let me try this yeah there we go all right so now I'm gonna fire up the old propane torch I poured about a half a gallon of uh, 
diesel fuel in on the very bottom.
All right, so we got it burning. We'll put the lid on it now. And we'll wait a few hours and load it up again. She's a roaring. All right, we'll holler at y'all later.